the way I want to sit is right up against her. This way she feels nice and supported. She's not going to roll backwards. She knows I'm here and I got your back. So I'm going to go ahead and loop my arms underneath here, right? You just do a little easy. My hands are clasped. You can do them like this. I feel like I get a better uh, pull and hold. I feel like I have more control over her um, when I am, have my hands clasped. And what I'm doing is I'm just using gravity. I'm just leaning back. If you catch yourself muscling, you know, pulling, you feel your biceps, we don't want to do that. It's too much work. We just want to lean back. Let yourself be relaxed in this. Let gravity do the work. We're just hanging out. Danielle, do you like it more when I open up this way? Oh, yeah. Very much. Or do you like it more this way? Oh, the back. Back way. All right. I like to ask. You never really know what does feel good to my, my receiver, but they know. So give them the option. I'm going in and out of stretching, pulling her open, coming back to neutral. You can see here what the muscles that we are affecting. As we're sitting here pulling her open, we are opening up that pec major and minor. We're not just affecting those areas though. Your receiver can tell you they're feeling it in their neck. They might feel it in their low back. There's many muscles that are being affected. So next I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use my fingers and kindly do some circles. I'm really just going around the scapula. You could come in up here to like levator trap. I'm just being sweet. Danielle doesn't like a lot of pressure so make sure that you are asking your receiver what kind of pressure they like. Days are different, areas of your body are different uh, as far as what kind of pressure you do enjoy or want to receive. But we're just going around in some little circles, just warming the area up. Some uh, people might, this might be too sharp, so if it is, you can go ahead and use like a supported finger. Boop, boop, trying to find the camera here. So you can see I'm just kind of coming inside. Danielle, do you have a preference? Do you like it better this way? She likes all of it. So we can do whatever we feel right. Oh, my hand's getting tired. Okay, cool. Go back to some little finger circles. If anything ever feels wrong to you as the giver, stop. Do it differently. We never want to do anything that hurts our body as the giver or as the receiver, right? So receivers, if you feel anything funky or anything doesn't feel right, please speak up and say, hey, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower. I need a little less pressure. Hey, I need a new arm. Okay. Let's see if we can get you a new arm through this. We're going to do a 30 minute trade, so we'll see if I can give her a new feeling arm. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing her scapula onto my fingers. My fingers are just here. A lot of people are going to have so much tension through their rhomboids or this muscle between the scapula and the spine. Um, that you might not be able to put your fingers to there. Danielle has space. I'm just kind of opening her up because I remember she likes it this way. Opened. I'm just warming things up, kind of seeing how her body moves, where the restrictions are. I like to be aware to not stretch out her collar of her shirt because I hate that. I'm a weirdo. So as I feel like I've warmed everything up, I'm having a good time here. I'm just going to lay her arm down. And I'm going to come up to the head of Danielle. I have my right knee, or I guess I would say my head knee because it's closer to her head, and my foot knee. I like to keep the, the head knee just behind her head, but above her, so that that way when I'm coming in to work her traps, that I am coming down into the body this direction. We are not going down into her body and you know, we don't want to do anything to affect the ability to breathe or be awake. Also, I want to check in. Danielle, would you like me to bolster your hip? Um, I'm okay for right now, but thanks. Your receiver might need their hip bolstered, so just check in and see if they need like a pillow or a folded blanket underneath their top leg. So what I'm doing with my left arm is I am lengthening. I'm lengthening all these muscles here. So... As I lengthen, I come in gently with my knee down and into her body this direction. Gently. Oh, am I not being gently? My bad. <laughs> so this is very 
as we're doing it, we feel like, man, am I doing this right? It's, I'm just hanging out. Yes, you probably are. This work is not crazy difficult. It just comes with patience, being aware of your receiver underneath you, listening, moving slowly. As the receiver, this could be quite intense. It is. And so just kind of hang out. Don't feel like you have to keep moving. Here you can see the trapezius. I am definitely affecting the trapezius right now, which throughout the day, our shoulders tend to get up towards our ears. Right now, we are reversing that. Also, our levator is getting affected here. If you're one of those people that works at a computer desk and you always have your arms up on the computer desk or you're a poker player, you will most definitely have some shortness in these muscles. And we are going to get them relaxed and lengthened for you. So we were on the anatomy as I moved up. I was first in the spot right here in Danielle's neck. And then, I, I don't know, I just kind of moved up a little bit. You can start to learn how to feel tension. It's more dense tissue. You can talk to your receiver. Definitely make sure you're watching the face of your receiver. They have these things called ibrometers, and they will tell you everything. I can see that her breathing. So I know that we are probably close to her edge. Danielle? You are close to my edge. I thought so. The rotating that you're doing. Ah, thank you for bringing attention to that. So you can ask your receiver, do you like it if I do a little bit of movement? My knee is staying in its place, it's just hanging out, and my hand here is just giving a little bit of movement in the shoulder. And what that feels like, it should feel like we're kind of rocking the body open. I'm going to come out slowly and come back in one more spot. We want to be behind the SCM. We don't want to be going into her throat. Make sure you're doing that. There's an SCM so you guys can see that visually. In the past, I've always tried to show a little bit too much and I feel like um, with me rushing through it, though, it's great that you guys get to see a bunch more stuff. It also doesn't give you the idea of how the pace of the work is. I would spend some more time here, but I've spent a good time, and I want to move on into her neck. So once again, we want to stay behind the SCM, which is this muscle right here in the neck. Uh, there's a bunch of delicate thing. I mean, imagine if you have anyone pressing in front of that area, you will <laughs> feel like you're being choked, and there's a lot of delicate stuff there that we want to avoid. So I'm gonna come up to Danielle, and I'm, you can sit however feels best for you. I have some like QL, um, so as issues. So for me, it feels good to sit like this. It's, I kinda call it side saddle, but I don't know if I'm making that up or what it is, but that's what I call it. So I'm coming in with this part of my elbow here, the flat part, not the point. This is only upon request or once you've gone, you know, general to specific, but right now we are using this flat part we're gonna come back here behind her SEM. And I always like to move hair out of the way. Nobody likes to have their hair pulled while they're getting a massage. Some people like it. I mean, when we get to the scalp and do that kind of thing, but typically people are like, you're pulling. You want less? There you go. I'm just resting here. I'm not pushing down into her neck. I'm leaning over and letting gravity work, listening to my receiver. She requested a little less, so I just kind of backed off a little bit. I unstacked slightly to give her the pressure that she felt comfortable with. We meet our receivers where they are, and we don't want to go past that edge. The edge is a positive thing. It's great to go to the edge, but we never want to go past. If the body is holding, if the client or the receiver is holding their breath, the body will have a hard time releasing and letting go. So make sure you encourage breath. 
Make sure receivers are breathing. If anything's too much or having trouble breathing, let your giver know. And givers, let's pay attention to that, okay?